What's up everybody, Chef Mac here in the kitchen, Good Rancher's Kitchen that is, and I just got some beautiful chicken breasts. And what I wanna show you with these bad boys, uh, they're coming to your door, delivered, cry cryovac and packaged, resealable packaging, what's beautiful, but you just get them out of those packaging and look at the beautiful chicken breasts that you have here. And, and here's the difference, go to your grocery store and buy chicken breasts. When you get home, you're gonna have to trim off some visceral fat around the outside of that, and you're gonna have to do some knife work. Not with Good Ranches, it's coming delivered, it's prepped out, it's ready to go. So quick little recipe for the family, got five kids at home. I've got a little Greek chicken marinade, 20 minutes to two hours, depending on how long you wanna keep it in the marinade, but it's gonna bring this chicken just a little bit of, a little bit of zest, a little bit of vibe, and a little bit of flavor. You throw that on the grill, great for over rice dishes, uh, great for salads, you can meal prep this, and it's super simple to make. You wanna start off with about a half cup, extra virgin olive oil, same on the lemon juice, I'm always salt, using a great salt, a kosher salt or a sea salt. I always want to season my food. Um, just a little bit, a little black pepper here in that mill. Beautiful. Okay, a little mustard. Um, I love using mustard. It's a great little base for not only marinades, but uh, to enhance sauces. Mustard's gonna bring that emulsification you want. Um, it's gonna help thicken that little marinade up a little bit but mustard has delicious flavor. So this is a Dijon mustard, but if you have preferences you wanna use, like stone ground or even Chinese mustard or something sweeter or spicier, horseradish mustard, you know, that's what cooking is all about. It's about being you and really experimenting and learning what you love. Okay, a little garlic salt, just a pinch, maybe a teaspoon or two. Same with onion powder, same thing right there. And then I've got some dried basil. Let's add a little bit there. And now a little bit of oregano. I like to get these big, beautiful oregano leaves in there. And then literally, I, you know, my hands are my greatest tool in the kitchen. You can spend millions of dollars on other equipment, but just using your hands and opening up this oregano and kind of releasing some of those oils in the herb is, is amazing. And you don't need much. Oregano is strong and it goes a long way. You can use dried oregano too if you want. And then just a light, kind of mix. See that mustard's kind of emulsifying in there with the oil, incorporating it all together and thickening up just a tad, like so. Let's do this and we'll grab our little whisk so we can tighten this up quicker and you can see. Beautiful, coming together beautifully. That oil's all getting incorporated in there. Big Ziploc bag if you have it, but those chickens, literally, you can just dump right over this can be prepped out early morning before you go to work. When you come home, those chickens are gonna take in all that delicious flavor, the oregano, the dried basil, the pepper, in the fridge for a few hours. All right, let's get this Greek marinade, this Greek chicken going for Good Ranchers right here. Chicken breasts are going on the grill. Oregano, lemon, olive oil, garlic powder, garlic salt. And like I said, these are great. Everyday hit for the family. Serve it with rice, vegetables, over a nice little salad. You can meal prep with this, do a bunch of chicken ahead of time. All right, got some beautiful Greek chicken. Been marinated for about three hours. Oregano, garlic, olive oil, lemon juice, mustard. There you go, hot off the grill, people. 